one of the hardest things for me to do is to find good ideas and topics to create content from. And since I'm in the AI space, I decided to create an automation that will help me do that. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is one of the best automations, at least useful ones that I have created. So let me explain to you how it works. Well, this is an Instagram competitor scraper. The first thing it does is it gathers a list of Instagram users. I scrape their profiles using Appify and then download the profile pictures, organize everything into a format as well as a lot of other information and then upload that to a sheet with inside of a spreadsheet. Then the second step is I have the post scraper. So I gather the list of competitors from the sheet and then for each of them, I'm gonna get their last 30 days worth of posts download the reels, transcribe them, get the hook analysis, save everything to an output list. And after I get all the competitors information, I save that to an output list in a formatted sheet. And then the last step is the analysis part where I take the captions, the transcripts and the hook analysis. I just get the top five from them based on their views, likes, comments. Then I get the complete analysis through a crew of agents. Then I send the output in an email HTML formatted. So I'm sure what you really care about is how does this look? Well, basically what happens is I'm gonna have this Google spreadsheet that has this information like I had mentioned. I'm gonna have an automation that's going to grab their information every week. It might add new usernames or remove usernames. So this one update this every week. Then in the output, I'm gonna get each of their top three posts. As you can see, I have the URL, caption, transcript, the hook analysis, views, likes, everything. And after I get everybody's information, I'm gonna take the top five of those based on views, comments, and likes, basically the engagement rate. And then I'm gonna send myself an Instagram content analysis in an email, giving me the ideas that I should use for the week. And this gives me great information about what's maybe trending right now, some power words or triggers, some topics, hooks, everything that I need to make good content. Now this was heavily inspired by Jason Cooperson. You can find him on Instagram. I have link. I'll have, have his link in the description below as well. But this is wonderful, and this is this has, and it's going to really help me out in the future. And I think it also help you out as well. So stick around, and I will tell you how you can get this for free. Now let's go a little bit more in depth on exactly how this works, including the code that you're going to be using. Well, the first thing is you're going to need an Appify account. I created one. I made a free account. You get five dollars worth. And so, for instance, I scraped at about 700 posts for a different topic and that cost about a dollar 60 cents you probably won't be doing that much at once i did a lot of days back those users happen to have a lot of store a lot of reels so you know just to kind of give you some frame of idea and then essentially what i needed was a way to get google sheets save all the information to the there so i have this spread out into three different sections so i'm gonna go ahead and run the profile code i just went ahead and deleted them just so you can see this is a, a fresh sheet so i'm going to come over here to the code i have an instagram competitors python file now this will all be in docker so basically this is all scheduled right so you have scheduled to run at 6 a.m on a sunday on a wednesday 10 p.m at night on a tuesday it doesn't matter when right you can schedule this whenever you want but I'm going to go ahead and run this. What this is going to do is it's going to grab all the usernames that I have saved for Instagram usernames. And now it's running Appify. So it's it's going to get the actor from Appify, run this scraper. And then after I get everything back, I, I basically take all the information, format it. And you can see here, I fetch all the competitors. Um, and then I save the competitors to the sheet. I kind of tr uh, transform that data for the sheet. Then I create the service, save it to the sheet. And then down here, it says I save save seven competitors to that sheet. So here it is updating and here they are again. Okay, that's great. That's that's really simple. And then this takes actually takes a little bit because depending on how many posts you get and how many that you want to actually use from, it could take about 10 minutes because again, it, it takes the reels downloads them and you can see get, I'm getting the transcripts from all of them. So all of these, I got the transcripts from already, I already ran this. And then it, it went ahead and looked at the hook, a hook that was like good for this, like why it was good. And then some power words that they may have used um, to help them with like, while whenever they were speaking. Now as you can see, this was a really good post at about 2, 2 million, 2.2 2 million views. There are some other ones in here. So like those would be topics. Now I know that's a really good topic because obviously it worked for that person. And then I can take that information and then transform it into something that I can use it for. And then I have the Instagram post scraper, which is a separate automation script that takes, that gets all the information from the profile page or from the profile sheet. And then I get the top three posts from each of those people. And then after I do that, you know, I want to get from 14 days back at the most I in total I want to get is 200. Uh, then I go ahead and create the post scraper. I do the scraping for each of them. Then I select the top three per profile, you know, get the file name, download the reel if needed, 
if the trans if I want the trans transcription service, then I transcribe the files. And then finally we save the post to the sheet. And then the last part of the automation is the Instagram analyzer. So that takes all the information that we had retrieved from the posts, takes the top five of those based on views, likes, comments. And then we have a crew of agents taking that, uh, taking the information and then getting enough that I want from there to then send me in the email. And so then what you had seen in the email right here, this is, this is the outcome of all of that. And then what I would do is I would take a look at these, why it worked, you know, it exact, there were, they had different tool stacks. So vapey, voice calling, Twilio, messaging, go high level and so forth. So then I can take a look at these. Okay, what can I create, especially since I have Python coding, they, maybe they're using N8 then or Make or Zapier or something else. But why this is really amazing and how it's gonna be really easy for you is if you install Docker, which I'll have a link for, if you install Docker, then when you, whenever you get my code or the project, all you're gonna have to do is type Docker Compose up. And what it's gonna do is it's going to run all of this file. So you don't actually have to install anything that's necessary for this to work. So right now it's installing all the requirements that you need to run everything. And so after it's done installing everything, all you need to see here is I, I have it printed out. So it's starting the scheduler. So for instance, I have a monthly job. So the monthly I actually have the monthly automation set to retrieve all the usernames beginning of every month. And then I have the weekly workflow where it actually grabs the post and then sends me the email. So this can be set up in multiple different ways, but it's just as easy as saying Docker compose up one command that I'm going to give to you. You just copy and paste that into the terminal and then running it. Now, with that said, there are a couple things you have to do, right? You have to get your opening AI key. You do have to get your Google credentials, which so I'm the links for those. No matter what you do, you're gonna have to get the credentials from somewhere, right? But so I'm gonna give you the information to be able to do that. Like I said, if you wait till the end, I'm telling you how you can get this, but this is free. You know, I, I know that this is, people are paying for automations like this, right? And I'm giving this to you for free because I'm going to be opening up a new free school community since I'm going to be converting my paid one into a done with you and done for you. So the price is going to be increasing because the clients are going to have there are going to be more for like creating like full on automations for them, right? So it's going to be more of a community of, of business owners and clients and you know, people with larger communities that need these automations, you know, we're gonna be all talking and working together. So I'm opening up a free school community to have all of my courses, all of my agents, et cetera, in those as well. And then I will have like more advanced stuff, especially at like really full stack apps. So like this, you know, I'm gonna eventually find this with other scrapers, but have that as part as of, of a whole UI. So it'll just like be there. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be in my free school community. So I'll have a link in the description below on how to join my free school community. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is, this is really an amazing, this is really an amazing automation. And I know that you can, you can put it to good use, even just for the information alone that you can get uh, by you know do, making this do it for you is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Really wanna hear your thoughts, what else that you're making, what you would like me to make. Um, I just really appreciate you watching this video and I just appreciate everybody that's taken a part to be a part of my community and my YouTube channel. Here are some more videos for you to watch. In the meantime, again, don't forget to join my school community and I will see you next one.